Today we're talking about the first ever dino fossil discovery, which happened way back in 1677. That's right, our man Robert Plot, the big boss of the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, England, found this massive femur bone and was like, hey, that's probably from a giant human. Fun fact, he was totally wrong. Fast forward to 1824, when William Buckland, an Oxford geology professor, came up with a wild idea. This bone actually belonged to a humongous lizard he called Megalosaurus. Now, even though Buckland was off the mark, he gets the credit for being the first person to positively identify a dinosaur. Since then, we've found over 11,000 dinosaur fossils and 1,000 different species around the world. And guess what? We're still counting. Now, let's dive into some fossil formation 101 and dating methods, shall we? So fossils are basically the remains of ancient plants and animals. It's like nature's own time capsule, preserved in rocks. When an animal kicks the bucket and decomposes, it leaves just bones behind. Fossils are then created as sediment piles up and engulfs these remains, turning them into rock-solid evidence, pun intended, of the past. And it's not just bones. Fossils can also contain bacteria, plant bits, and animal tissues. Fossils help us learn about how these ancient creatures lived, what they munched on, and other cool stuff. But let's be real, it takes a long time for fossils to form. So when you find a fossil, the first thing you gotta do is figure out its age. And no, you can't just ask it. 